Take a guy like McFadden if he's 6'9 he's in the Big East but he's still very athletic for a guy 6'7. Iona scored the first five points of the game led five zip. Stay down. And then I, Baylor came back scored nine in a row. Look underneath. Point blank layup missed by Huffman. Boy, that was a chance for the Gales to take the lead. Huffman had Lace Darius Dunn posted. Jenkins out on Carter. Carter the floater. Lomer's there for the rebound and the putback. And he still has it missed. 11 for Josh Lomers. You know what he did there? He kept the ball high, John. Terrific job that time. Rebounded it high, kept it high. And the guy seven feet is going to be relatively close to the rim if he keeps that ball up. Huffman for the lead. And Iona on top 52 to 51. Pretty much all can knock down the three. Now Iona goes to a little bit of a zone. Keep mixing their defense. Now they've showed zone a couple times and they've gone man. And that's what they're doing here. Jamel Jenkins' uncle on Kevin Willard's staff, Shaheen Holloway, former Seton Hall point guard, Otama assist leader there. Udo kicks out Tweedy Carter. Baylor's down a point. Baylor's got to treat this like a one possession game and not that they're down 10. Jones, huge three, 11 points for Anthony Jones. Just goes to show you the versatility of Epe Udo's game. Anthony Jones, Reed Thin, listed at 6'10", 195 pounds, and perfect for three, three for three. Huffman, oh my goodness. Jonathan Huffman last night was 0 for 5 from three. In this one, he has been monstrous. Four for four and 12 points. Look who's bringing the ball up. And a steal from Jenkins, going right at Carter, who knocks it out of bounds. Iona basketball. Went Westchester County, New York, with new coach Kevin Willard. A new coach in New Rochelle. I own a 12 out of 22 from three. Six different Gales with a three pointer. And a kick ball. Has possessions in it. Jenkins with Dunn on him. And now Machado. Huffman now has Udo on him. And McFadden against Quincy Acey, muscling his way in, Mike McFadden, 13. Well, he loves that jump hook, Mike McFadden. So many times you see a mid-sized power forward who can score inside because he's been playing against taller, bigger guys most of his career. Good switch out there by Huffman on Udo. Udo lost the ball for a moment, uses the window, and Epe Udo with 13. And Baylor back within a point. Udo's a guy that hit a buzzer beater to beat Hartford early in the season. So you've got a couple different guys you can go to, including Dunn, maybe Tweedy Carter from deep. Huffman. And a rebound pulled down by Carter. Baylor a chance to retake the lead. See if they use Udo again, John. We've seen them isolate Udo. Oh boy. Behind the back pass, out of bounds. That one. Iona with the ball, up a point, and they'll run some clock. Yep, they want to shrink the game right here with the lead, so they'll use clock unless they get a great shot. Huffman and now Smite wide open. Udo the rebound and then it's important is because both teams are in the bonus. 17 fouls on each side. Baylor the basketball they are down a point. Let's see they show zone they've switched out of it to man but they're going to stay in zone on this possession. 2-3 zone. Jones into the paint Udo kicks out done. Followed by Jones, the big guy. Country, so keep an eye on him tonight as he tries to defend some of those outstanding offensive players for the Pilots. And again, two timeouts, Iona, one for Baylor. Possession arrow belongs to Baylor. It's the Old Spice Classic from the Milk House in Lake Buena Vista. Machado to the rim, he's fouled. 
short. Right. And they trouble containing both Machado and Jenkins as Machado gets one out of two. We're tied at 58. John Chambi, Fran Fraschilla from the Milk House here at the Old Spice Classic, and a good one here. Baylor and Iona hooking up in this one. They go back to that zone. So what they're trying to do now is they're taking away the penetration of Baylor. Baylor's likely to settle for a jump shot here if they can't get the ball into the paint. Feed down Lomers. Spinning inside, looking for room up and under. And the loose ball tracked down by Dwight. Iona basketball. Now this is going to be a two possession game if Iona pulls it out. So Baylor will get a chance to get it back. But if you're Iona right now, spread the floor and look for some dribble drive situations. Got a 13 second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Machado got the mismatch. Kick out. Dwight way off the mark. Udo the rebound. And Baylor will hold for the last shot of the game. Will they call timeout? Doesn't look like it. I think I put the ball in the hands of Waste Darius Dunn if you could get it to him. But it's going to be Carter and Udo. Three on the clock. Udo. No call. Underneath at the buzzer and Lomers couldn't get it to go. Take a look at this now. There's the isolation. Goes to the rim. Contact but no foul and then Lomers as the red light comes on can't finish it. Well it's close.